Hey everybody, it's Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. I am outside the arrival section of the airport terminal three at Cairo International Airport, and I'm going to show you how you can take an Uber to get from Cairo International Airport to wherever you need to go. Let's get started. Something important to note first, that in order to get an Uber, you need to have an internet connection. Now what I do is I get a Vodafone SIM card at the airport that has data on it and that's how I get Wi-Fi. But what some people have reported they're able to do is use the Wi-Fi inside of Cairo's terminal to request their Uber. I've never been able to get this to work with my phone because it requires inputting your cell phone number and then getting a text message verification code, but you might be able to make it work when you're in Egypt. If that's not an option, you can always get a SIM card with a local number and data plan, just like I do. So I opened up the Uber app and I'm getting ready to request my Uber. I'm heading to Cairo Hub Hostel, the hostel that I am staying at in downtown. So I'm putting that in first and just checking the location to make sure that it is the right spot, which it looks like it is. So now I need to pick out where I'm going to get picked up. I'm at Terminal 2, and I'm going to choose the Terminal 2 secondary parking area for my pickup location. You can't just get picked up right outside the arrival door, unfortunately. So now that I've got that, I have to confirm I'm wearing a mask, and Uber's going to find me a driver, and I'm going to find that parking lot area where I should get picked up. Spoiler alert, I actually don't get picked up at this area by several drivers, but you're going to have to keep watching to figure out why that goes wrong and what I do in order to finally get a ride. So now just waiting for my driver to get connected with me, and then I'm going to show you how I walk from the airport terminal over to this pickup area. All right, so now that I've requested my Uber, it's time to walk over to Terminal 2 Secondary Parking Area, just like we requested for the pickup location. Let's go. So now you'll notice that I have the terminal right behind me and I am walking toward this parking area right through here. You're not gonna see signs that say Uber or anything like that, but just keep walking till you get to the back parking lot. This is what the area looks like once I crossed that street and went through that passageway. So continuing my journey onto my Uber, I've got this fountain behind me and then facing this other way, there is a parking area. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna head over there. Um, the Uber on the map on the app is showing that he's almost arrived. The final thing I had to do before getting to the parking area is to go down the stairs or I could have also waited for the elevator. After the elevator and stairs area, I've made it down here to this parking lot. Um, the terminal that I came from is not this one right here. It's um, up that way. And according to the map on the Uber app, my Uber driver is kind of doing some squigglies around to get into this parking area. But my pin and my blue GPS dot show that I am in the right spot. This shows my Uber driver trying to find me at my pickup location. Even though this pickup location is one that's set in the app, it's not a good location that I've been finding for drivers to be able to locate me. And later on in this video, I'm going to show you a much better spot you can get picked up. So I had to call the Uber driver um, to try to give him directions here in Arabic. And luckily there were a couple of police officers here who helped me out and they were able to give him directions as well. Um, so yeah, so hopefully he'll be able to make it here. Seems like it's a little bit more complicated to get an Uber at the airport in Cairo than it is at an airport in the US. But I'm in the right spot. I'm exactly where the GPS says I should be on the map. So my first driver ended up canceling and this is my next driver I got connected with and spoiler alert, this doesn't really work out well either. He's in that other pickup location I'll share later in the video. And he actually ended up canceling on me. So now here's my third driver who, again, is in that other pickup area and can't seem to figure out how to get over to where I am. So I finally made it after several Ubers and full starts and having police help me out and my trying to speak with the drivers in Arabic 
and I'm in downtown Cairo in Tahrir Square about to check into my hostel. What I heard from my Uber driver is that one of my mistakes was choosing that I needed to be picked up at Terminal 2 arrivals, which even though that's the terminal I came in on, he said that it's much better to say that you're at Terminal 3 and to go to the Terminal 3 parking area. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in the Uber app. So I've opened up the Uber app and I'm just gonna pretend I'm going from Terminal 2 to that same hostel. But instead of doing my pickup location for Terminal 2, I'm gonna set it at Terminal 3 arrivals and I'm gonna put it at the Terminal 3 parking lot. This was where all of those Ubers were waiting to pick up passengers. I would recommend people use Uber at their own risk. It seems like it's kind of tricky for people to link up with drivers, especially if you don't speak Arabic. I think it's a lot easier to take a taxi at the airport, arrange a private transfer, or try to take the public bus using my YouTube video on how to do that. All right, thanks for watching everybody. I'm Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. Check us out on Instagram or Facebook at Egypt Adventures Travel or go to www.egyptadventurestravel.com.